Iowa's Department of Human Services announced last month as many as a thousand Afghan refugees could settle in the state. And tonight, KCA United reporter Dylan Adams introduces us to one of the 20 refugees already calling Siouxland home. It's our top story tonight at 10. Hey Tim, over the last two months, the Mary J. Tralia Community House staff has worked tirelessly to provide resettlement services to the community's newest members. Refugees who fled from Afghanistan after the Taliban took back control of the country. The Mary J. Tralia Community House has provided immigration and refugee services for more than a hundred years. And although refugee coordinator Mercedes Dimas has had sleepless nights organizing and planning for 20 Afghan refugees, she says the work is all worth it. I'm just I'm grateful to be a part of it and I'm just grateful that they're here and that they're alive and that they have opportunity. Riza Akrami, his wife and two kids are some of the people who've been given that opportunity. As they arrived in Sioux City in December after months spent on a military base with 12,000 other refugees. Riza described the gratitude he felt after being welcomed at the airport. I will never never forget it and I will try my best to take it back to them, special to Miss Mercedes. But I know this, that I can't. Why? Because it is that much that, which that is out of my coverage. But Dimas says resettlement in Siouxland has come with its challenges, including finding adequate, affordable housing and a place that can provide all the necessities for living. What you have to think about is when you're, when you're housing someone, obviously, is you know, they're not going to have transportation, so they'll have to have access to transportation, access to an employer that will be close enough or that will provide that transportation for them. You know, in the neighborhood that they're in, is there a grocery store that's in walking distance? Riza's family was settled in the Sergeant Bluff area, and he says the Mary J. Tralia house has provided much more than resettlement to his family, including early education and English learning for his three-year-old son. He started preschool, and uh, he is so happy, he can say one, two, three, up to ten, and ABC is starting. And Dimas says her agency has enough furniture and supplies right now for the remaining refugees that are coming, but are looking for volunteers to help with transportation needs. For now, Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.